when I formed the antelope, I went back to my roots, so to speak, and I took up the question of clocking again. So year is 2005, and uh, we're going back, you know, we have the new animal, and uh, times have also progressed and uh, technology progressed, the chips and the ideas. I was looking for ways to improve what I've done with the art sync, and that's where I uh, realized I would have to go to a more stable time base, and I introduced the idea of open controlled crystal oscillator. So by putting the crystal oscillator, which is the heartbeat of the clock, inside an enclosure um, and keeping the temperature constant. Keeping the temperature constant is important because the crystal is an analog component that vibrates, that oscillates. So it responds to the environment. By keeping the temperature constant, you can considerably improve its stability and its jitter performance. So that's when I introduced the isochrome uh, line. Iso prefix means uh, constant or the same, and chrome is, comes from time, so it's supposed to suggest uh, the, the elements of time that are uh, being, um, that are stable. OCX name comes from Owen Control Crystal Oscillator that we started shipping around 2005, and we got uh, quite a bit of um, of uh, firstly American customers, big guys, very excited about it because there was a period between the two animal companies when the Aardvark uh, ceased doing business and before the antelope shipped its, its product. So when we got back, when we started shipping OCX, people were excited to try out the new clock from me and they listened to the oven controlled technology. They really liked the way it sounded. They thought it was doing a lot more to improve the sound quality. We now have almost 18 years and, and only, it almost took that long for the awareness to build that the clock is important.